Yes, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have got a 352 for you today. It's all based on Terry Venables' England from the 1996 European Championships, Euro 96. Apparently, the summer when football came home. Now, I've watched numerous set of highlights. Quite difficult because we are basing it on the Germany-England draw, which obviously England lost on penalties. We're basing it on that because I did find this little stats bomb article where they've gone into a little bit more depth in terms of stats. So, we've got the XG and the more, most important thing, which has probably helped me, Obviously, watching some of the highlights, I can't get the full game, unfortunately. So, I've watched a couple of sets of highlights that are about 10, 15 minutes long. And just from this, we can see the tactic and how it was looking average positions. Um, England played with this sort of like 3-5-2. And it's the interest in the role of Stuart Pearce, the left-sided centre-half. Uh, and also the role of the wing-backs. You can see Steve McManaman was a wing-back and so was Darren Anderson. Very high. Steve McManaman's in the middle, but I think that's probably because he switched wings at some point, I would imagine. And obviously, you've got Teddy Sheringham playing off Alan Shearer, Paul Gascoigne in the middle. So that's what we're going to do. Big shout out to all the patrons on the screen. If you are interested in joining the patron, like so many people, the, the growth over the last few weeks has been incredible. So big shout out. Link down in the description. You get all the tactic downloads from FM24 so far and future downloads going forward, including Premier League week, excluding the big six next week. We're talking Daesh, we're talking Iriola, we're talking Wilder, we're talking Marco Silva and maybe one more. All right, let's get in though to today's Euro 96 football's coming home. And here it is. All right, so I've been doing a few little games with England just to see how it looked, and we've done pretty well. We beat Italy, we beat Ukraine, we beat Austria, we beat North Macedonia, but we're going to go through the rules, and I think it's a little bit different in the fact that the wing-backs are not wing-backs. They were wingers and attacking midfielders playing in wing-back roles, and what I did notice, and I will leave a link down in the description to a German set of highlights, which I found was the most, sort of like the biggest sort of like video length in terms of highlights, is the sheer intensity of pressing and getting stuck in, especially for the first sort of like 60 minutes, 70 minutes, England were all over Germany in terms of pressing, very, very physical in terms of a few nice little tackles in there from Gaza as well. So go check out that and it'll make you maybe just see how I've then copied that across into FM24. So goalkeeper would have been David Seaman, just bog standard goalkeeper on defend. Now they did play back four at times with the use of Gary Neville at right back, then Southgate and Adams and then Pierce as left back. The suspension to Gary Neville in the quarterfinal meant that he decided to change, bring in, I think it would have been probably bringing McManaman or maybe actually bring in David Platt as an extra midfielder. So moving over to the right side, we've gone Tony Adams, Ball playing defender, no playing instructions. Gareth Southgate stayed very central, dropped off, central defender on defend. And then we've got Stuart Pierce, wide centre back on support. Once again, no player instructions. The Paul Ince role, we've just, this could be anything. It could be a DM, it could be an anchor, not a deep line playmaker. Yeah, just something physical. I've gone with a ball winning midfielder on defend for Paul Ince. The two wide players, we've decided to put them up quite high because they were quite high on the field. I thought, Let's get them a little bit higher, but with some defensive responsibilities. Now, it doesn't suit England that well. It maybe does a little bit more like I've been playing Saka and Sterling out in the wide areas and they've actually done really, really well. But we've gone for two defensive wingers, both on support. No player instructions. Really basic tactic, this. Into the middle two. Now, the David Platt role was probably the hardest. I thought it could be a central midfielder on support. I've gone with this bog standard number eight, box-to-box -box midfielder, and alongside Gaza. Now, I did think Mazala, but he was literally everywhere. So we've gone roaming playmaker on support because he's the heartbeat of the side with dribble more and tackle harder. He's already obviously got run from position and take more risks as well. And then up front, we've got the deep line forward, in Teddy Sheringham, deep line forward on attack, could quite easily be on support if you wanted. And then Alan Shearer, advance forward on attack, could quite easily be complete forward as well. But I thought that little combination does work really well together. Into the team instructions, positive mentality, fairly wide attacking width with hit crosses early. Sheringham, Shearer, fantastic in the air. Plenty of balls coming in when they got the opportunity with the wing backs high. Stuart Pierce as well, going down that left side. Can he get the ball in the box? Passing to space, slightly shorter. We haven't moved the passing directness. Tempo slightly higher. Run at defence, Anderton, McManaman, Gascoigne, all really good at carrying. Even Paul Ince was actually quite good at carrying the ball. Be more expressive as well. We've been, you know, Terry Venables always said that he wanted the players to go out and ex express themselves and enjoy the game. So that's why we've got that on. 
never time wasting. In transition, there wasn't so much of a counter press in those days, um, but we have gone counter. Distribute to centre half because we're going to play out with the back three as much as possible. Out of possession, we've gone with this compact shape. Now, it was a mid block, but it was quite an aggressive sort of like once the ball came into the area where they wanted to press, it was quite aggressive. So we've got a higher line with a mid block in order to be really compact in the middle of the pack. Slightly more often trigger press, get stuck in. I said, go check out the highlights down in the description from the tackles that were flying in constantly. Trap outside. Move over to the side of the pitch, squash it up, quite a basic format. And, and what I said in the Rigo Saki video as well, cross engagement. Generally, Gary Neville spoke about it as well. He used to get absolutely annihilated by Roy Keane, Alex Ferguson, for allowing crosses to come into the penalty area. So stop crosses as much as we possibly can. All right, let's go and see a few little girls and see how this looks in FM24. Okay, now this eventually go ends up in a goal. And I just thought I'd show you, obviously, the width. The wing backs in particular, the wide wingers get the defensive word can be quite misleading at times, but they do get so far forward, and we get to see both of them in action in this highlight. We've got John Stone stepping in as a defender. Back here, just out of shot, we have got a 2v1 back here, so we're nicely covered. Declan Rice being the Paul in sitting. I think there's a little breakdown. Oh, we recycle possession. So as you can see, we're nicely set up. We've got a nice four. You know, they're saying really high. We've got our sitter. And it's quite simple, but we are doing lovely ball from John Stones. Saka's gone in nice and long. And then we're flooding the box. We've crossed early. Watkins should have scored. Good save. Sterling, defensive winger on support and getting right in there. We've got a decent rest defence as well. Really good. Like that Declan Rice. I do like that role, actually, because he just stays right there. Similar to what maybe an anchor does. The ball in midfielder on defend. Obviously, we're not asking him to do much technically. It was more get the ball to Platt, get the ball to Gascoigne, get the ball to the wide players. McManama on the dribble. And then can we get balls in the box for Sheringham and Shearer? I've got Harry Kane doing the Sheringham role and I've got uh, Watkins doing the advanced forward role. I wanted to go Tony doing the Sheringham role and then Kane doing the Shearer role, but Tony's still suspended in the game, so I couldn't use him. And then this one's good build up from as we play. As you can see, the only issue is we've got a little issue on this left-hand side. So you do need to make sure that your left-back is a really good defender because... When there's a little breakdown in possession, they don't go and sit in to make a five. They're sat in that midfield. So it's just something to be aware of in terms of the balance with your wide players, them defensive wingers. They will not go all the way back to make a five. But what it does do is give you a really good option going forward. So there's Gaza, roaming playmaker, drifting in, working well, give and go, deep line forward, dropping off. Defensive winger, and once again, look at the height, the height with that defensive winger on support. He's still getting really far forward. And he comes in then to Saka and hits a really good strike. But just something to be wary of when you're out of possession. Those defensive wingers will not go back. I think they'll track back. They'll work hard. But they're normally recovery runs rather than getting set in and getting that bank of five shape. And then once again, everything we do comes through the defensive wingers. We're in again, Ward-Prowse into Saka, defensive winger into the other striker, and go like they're always involved in the game. So here we go. The ball's gone long. Keeper's kicked it out long. As you can see, we've got loads of players back. You know, we've got the three. We've got the defensive winger coming in and helping out as well. And then it's just quick. Into Saka. Involved once again. Really good run from the box, uh, box to box midfielder. There's David Platt. Into Alan Shearer, who then squares it for Teddy Sheringham. And we score a really well, quick transition goal. A finally a goal from Gaza. I had to put Jude Bellingham as Gaza, but once again, the defensive winger involved in the game. Laying it off. Look, it's an assist. It's a simple assist, but an assist nonetheless. Now, if you wanted to make a couple, couple of little tweaks, you could obviously put these in as defensive, uh, sort of like complete wing backs and stuff. You will obviously lose that danger going far with them. So my advice would probably, I would start like that. And then to see games out, I think I would bring them in. I think I'd bring them both in to be wing-backs on support. They did get quite deep at times. When they're under the cosh a little bit, they did obviously go in to make the five at certain points during the game. But generally, they were so high. And you can see that from the average positions map. All right, guys. That is it. Something a little bit different today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Tomorrow is Arsene Wenger's Arsenal, the invincible season. Check out the content on the Patreon as well. Muchly appreciated. And we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you later.